Hi everyone, welcome back to Tim's Toy World. Today I'm going to show you guys the stuff I picked up uh, recently. It's mainly an unboxing, but I already took some stuff out of the box to make this go quicker. I went back to Belgium for the first time in a while, so that I had some packages waiting for me. Um, so I'm going to show you guys my latest, uh, latest haul. First we're going to start with these. These are two comics. Italian comics from uh, Goldrake or uh, Mandrake, I don't know, he has a different name in different uh, countries, Mazinger, I believe, so these are Italian comics, it's quite nice to have, they come with a, with a poster actually, let's see, a poster, but you have to take the comic apart, so that's uh, probably not gonna happen. So we have two of these. We got them cheap. It's cool to have since they are Italian. It's not something you will find every day. Now, two weeks ago, I went to the flea market here in uh, Germany. Actually, I went to three flea markets, but it was a bust. Uh, the last flea market, I managed to pick up two things. And I'm, I'm happy I found these because otherwise it was a whole uh, morning wasted and uh, coming home and empty handed isn't fun. So I did manage to pick up this uh, street shark. He is missing his hat but uh, the tongue action still works as you can see. So. And along with him, I picked up one of these uh, extreme dinosaurs. So, uh, yeah, they saved the, the flea market hunt. Uh, another small box I got for these mask figurines. They aren't in great shape, some of the helmets broken or uh, or discolored but we have like as you can see we have these three and then both of these I need to clean them because I think someone painted over this this helmet this one is still soft and I don't know, I have to check out if it goes with this figure, but uh, it also came with part of one of the vehicles, you can see. I didn't pay a lot, so the main reason I bought this lot was because of the five mask figurines. Along with that, there were some other figures I've never seen, I think they're just some cheap uh, dollar store toys. This looks like to be an, an older soldier. I still have to check this one for uh, for any markings. It looks like Lanart, so some kind of knockoff GI Joe. And this, never seen it. Have no idea what it's about, what line it's from, or whatever. If you know. Leave a comment. I think it's more in the, in the Marvel region, something like that. But it's probably a knockoff as well. Now, there's this guy in Belgium. Um, I bought from him before, and he always has great stuff and then um, great prizes. And he also writes a little note with what the figure is from, so that's easier. For me to remember after weeks of ordering uh, what these are, what, what line these are from. So we have a Goosebumps Scarecrow. The figures are in great, great condition. So these are 1986, I believe. We also have the the other figure from uh, 
Goosebumps, Scrappy, I believe. He's the one telling all the stories. Then we have uh, this one. Uh, I think it's Freddy Krueger, or it's supposed to look like him. At least he's a uh, Yeah, his face is, is all cut up and everything, and he has a claw, so it's probably him. Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, same vendor. I got this GoBot, which I still have to uh, figure out how it transforms exactly. Uh, we've got this Solo from the Karate Kid. And the functions work it's also really nice and then we have these this is like a knockoff dragon force um, from Lanart. so this is one of the probably one of the knockoff karate kid figures comes with his shirt so I like that stuff so you know the the lesser known toy lines and, uh, and knockoffs and everything uh, also a Braveheart uh, Braveheart uh, I watched that film a while ago so that, that's why um, Brave Star with uh, functioning arm I believe yeah so that's one as well this is a line I've never heard of Fantanauti it's also 80s, 86. And the cool thing is, these are like magnets. As you can see, you can pull out the leg, it pops right back in, it's with a magnet, the arm's the same. So, like I said, never heard of it. I saw it uh, in his store, you can, you can say. It's like a, a small second-hand website and uh, you have your, your own store in it so I had to pick this one up as well still same vendor we got Defenders of the Galaxy this is the knockoff uh, He-Man line great shape really really great shape it came with uh, this monster or dragon griffin whatever you want to call it also this is supposed to be uh, defenders of the planet yeah, they're supposed to be both of the same toy line it comes with a weapon so again like I said, it's in, in great condition. It will probably stand. There you go. So, another cool addition. And then we have these. Never heard of it before. They looked cool. They had their weapons. It's like a extreme dinosaur knockoff. I believe is here My, Mighty Warsaurus from 1990 so if you have heard of this toy line please let me know because I haven't but they look cool and they both come with a shiny chrome weapon as you can see got like T-Rex and this is Pterodactyl. I don't know if there are any other accessories to it. But they looked cool and all from the same vendor, so that saves on sh on shipping, so you can buy a little bit more. Um, this thing is still not unwrapped. I bought this on eBay 
I got a, a good deal. I was the only bidder. I was surprised because it is mint on card, I think. Yeah. Cardboard. We have Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. As you can see. LGN 1983. It was sold here in, uh, in Germany, as you can see here. Zonderen Angebot, 5 euros or 5 mark probably, because this goes way back. The bubble is a little bit battered, but it's still fixed on the card. And as you can see on the back, the colors are still quite good. Ring all around, the good wizard. So, again, it's a, it's a cool, cool figure. Nice to have it on the card. Maybe I will use the, the hair dryer to get these all faded. Imagine walking into a store and seeing these for 5 euros. You would go berserk, you would buy them all. I already have two figures of this, uh, this toy line, but this is the first one I have on card. It's actually one of the few um, figures I have on card, because I only have loose loose figures. Now I'm gonna see if I can get this one open. Another purchase in Belgium. This is wrapped really nicely. It's in an old VHS uh, box. Really, really good. Taped together several times. Also, this is something I haven't seen quite often. So the I haven't seen before. These are uh, two figures. I believe the toy, toy line is called Legends of the West. And we have uh, this one. So these are from 1975. 1975 so these are quite old I love 70s stuff uh, Excel Toy Corporation um, I believe this is Wild Bill Hickok in really good shape I don't see any damage missing the gun but he has his holster and then we have a Native American but I I'm drawing a blank on the name. It's, maybe it's Cochise or, or I have no idea. But also in great condition. Good condition. Uh, with a holster but missing a gun. So I don't know what ac accessories were were packed with these figures. But uh, like, like I said, coming across one of these or two of these is it's quite rare. I've never seen them before, so uh, again, it's a nice addition. Uh, last but not least, I also picked up a couple of cassette tapes uh, from Master of the Universe in German. Uh, we've got one without um, without the box and the and the cover, but we have two that come with the original box and cover. So, also, I was the only bidder, I believe, so it's a good deal. That's it. We're true. This was my haul. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. If you like what you saw, I'm going to post the video as soon as I can. Um, 
it's not every week, but it just depends what I pick up, where I am, and uh, if I have the time. Um, please like, uh, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Tell me what did you think of the the haul. Uh, are there any figures you haven't seen before, or do you have some of the the same toy line? So thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye.